How y'all doing? Um, y'all heard of the greatest show on earth? Well, I'm going to introduce you to the greatest show on dirt. It's rodeo bullfighting. In rodeo bullfighting, everybody thinks it's the clowns because they got makeup on and we tell jokes and all that stuff. Furthest thing from it. Rodeo bullfighters are considered cowboy lifesavers because when the cowboy gets hung up, and you see three broken necks, one gorn, one broken leg. It wasn't too bad. This man's name My name's Rob Smets, and I'm a five-time world champion bullfighter. My job was when the cowboy hit the ground to make sure that I provided myself as a better target for the bull than the cowboy. Hang on, Robert. All there. Whenever I fought bulls, I always planned for the worst, hoped for the best, and with a little luck, we end up somewhere in the middle. The job is a lot like being chosen as the guys that get to guard the president. The best bull riders in the world vote on the guys whom they want there to protect them. So it's a badge of honor to get chosen for that job. Sometimes you can be willing to put it out there for, for somebody else. I know that the animal has the ability to take me out. My sport, like any other sport, has a basic set of fundamentals. If you do the fundamentals right, you're going to win more than you lose. But no matter how fundamentally sound you are, sooner or later you get knocked on your ass. Ouch, ouch. He's trying to hang it right. And then you find out how much heart God gave you and how much you want to play the game. He'll get out of here. You can't kill that Oregonian, that kid is dumb. A lot of people say, oh, you're a rodeo clown. Well, no, I'm not a rodeo clown. I don't tell jokes. I, you know, I don't worry about being funny. I'm a bodyguard. If somebody's going to get hit, it should be me. There's nothing worse on a night than when you have a bull rider get hit. Oh, he's out. He's out. You notice you see the scars on the face. They're going to carry somebody out. I just assume it'd be me if it's on my watch. started back in ooh, night, the early 1900s when uh, two ranches would get together and they would, you know, they'd have the bronc ride trying to find out who's the toughest cowboy, who can bait, who can bronc, bleh, excuse me, break a horse. And then somebody got some wild idea. They brought all these Mexican bulls across the Rio Grande from Mexico and tried to ride. Well, there was nobody there to protect the bulls or the cowboys from the bulls. So that's where we came from. And then as the sport progressed, oops, let me back up. As the sport progressed, we started getting tools in the trade. You know, you got shin guards. This is like football pants, almost the exact same thing as the football pants. They wrap all the way around your thighs, and they go around your hips. And then this, this stuff right here is made out of the same plastic your football pads are made out of, but it's a lot thicker. And then inside is a quarter inch thick piece of foam rubber so that it it's made to, when the impact hits you, disperse the impact across your body. So you don't, you, you knock some breath out of you, but you're not breaking anything. The money has changed. Back in the early 1900s, it would pay five to $10 to a bullfighter for a whole rodeo. Now, when I go to a weekend rodeo, if I fight a PBR, or CBR, or something like that, Depending on where it's at, and depending on the level of the rodeo, I charge anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500 a rodeo. So, I mean, the sport has progressed leaps and bounds. The NFR, back in the time, back about 10 years ago, at the national finals, they used to have a bullfight, freestyle bullfight competition where they'd take all nothing but Mexican bulls and, and the bullfighter, and they would judge the bullfighter on how, how well he uh, fought the bull. And, got around the bull and made the bull just look stupid, basically. And here's, you know, like in this video right here, this is how long ago, I mean, they didn't have any bullfighters. This is it. They got a lion in there. They got, I mean, he's got a muzzle on, but it's crazy. You know, and then here, the rodeo has gone from that, what you just saw, with nothing, to this. <laughs>
like I said, you know, the rodeo bullfight has evolved in leaps and bounds. It's gone from nothing to a multi-million dollar business now, where guys are doing movies, they're doing, you name it. It's unbelievable, and like I said, it's the greatest show on dirt, and thank you.